Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. On this episode of the Deep Dive series, we will talk about the power of taking video of your own classes. As a teacher, you have a lot on your plate. Situations may vary, but you probably have multiple classes to teach each day over a variety of units. Last minute schedule changes can crop up day to day, and you are probably juggling other roles and responsibilities before or after your grapeseed classes. Even with all this, you do your best to deliver the content in the lesson plans as effectively as you can for your own classes. It's no surprise that with so many things going on, the teachers finish a work week exhausted. We talk a lot on this podcast about getting good data to help inform your teaching, whether it is encouraging your students to sing nicely so you can clearly hear them, or objectively self-reflecting on your lessons during or after teaching them. The key word there is objectively. Our memories are funny things. They aren't always as accurate as we want them to be. You might feel like your students were all paying attention as you read a particular story today, but maybe half of them weren't and you simply didn't catch it. How can you really know just how effective you have been? Personally, I am a big fan of American football, but Don't worry here, we won't delve too deeply into it. When you watch games on TV, you as the viewer get to watch plays just after they happen from different camera angles at a slower speed so you can better understand what is going on. Even the players themselves often grab a tablet as they come off the field to see what happened in the last series of plays. What does this accomplish? The videotape doesn't lie. Whether you are the viewer at home watching instant replay, or you are a player watching their own game film. Not just in American football, most professional athletes watch game film of the game they just played. You don't have to rely on your potentially faulty memory of the things you could and couldn't see or notice. The tape has the answers. Whenever this topic comes up, the initial reaction tends to be, I hate seeing myself on video. Yep, absolutely. I totally understand you as someone who has to edit his own podcast and has edited a lot of his own videos on the platform. It is an uncomfortable experience for sure. You will 100% notice awkward things that you do and feel a bit embarrassed. In my own videos, I noticed that I did a long, drawn-out, okay as I put one component down and picked up the next one. Each time I heard it, it was like nails on a chalkboard. That's not why you're watching, though. You're watching to see the mistakes, of which you will find many. And that's okay. You should want to find them, because if you do, you will get good data on what you should avoid doing in your next class. It's the same with professional athletes. They aren't watching film to see what they did right. They're watching to find the things they did wrong so they can fix them. We are a community of professionals too. No matter where you are or what situation you are in, you are a professional teacher. In 2021, it is so easy to get video of your own classes. Take your phone, charge it up, and hide it in the back of your classroom before your students come in and watch it later. sad to say goodbye it was a good day but now i will say goodbye my friends goodbye goodbye everyone